Thank you for clicking on the video. And here on our Mimic, we are going to play Marvel United yet again. And we are going to use components solely from the Multiverse Promo Strish Goal Box. And the story we are going to use today is Avenging Spider-Man issue number two. So you can see here on this cool cover, we've got Spider-Man along with Red Hulk. They do team up and Spider-Man does team up with everyone in the universe. And they're finding all these mole lids. So our villain today will be the Mole Man right over here. And we got Red Hulk. He is purple because he's an anti-hero. He can be played as a villain, but today he would be played as a hero. We're using his hero deck. And we got a Spider-Man variant here. This is Cyborg Spider-Man, who is also in this promo box. So once again, we are using a story, trying to compass the components within that box. And we didn't show you all the cards, and we're gonna do the cards for these associated figures right now. So for Mole Man, he's a bit interesting. He has a special set location called Monster Isle. And on this card, it says, a henchman entering this location has two extra health and may go above starting value. So he does have a couple of threat cards of henchmen, three of them. One of them is Giganto. Another one here is Doramadon. And the last one is Triceratops, <laughs> and they all have five health. Uh, they do have different uh, BAM attacks. Um, this one here says deal one damage to one hero in this location, two to one hero in the adjacent location. The other one here says uh, one hero anywhere takes one damage and turns their earliest face-up card in the storyline face down as possible. And then the other BAM attack here is deal two damage to one hero in this location, one damage to a decent hero. So it's the same as the Triferal loss. Uh, each time one of these uh, henchmen are defeated, they may discard a crisis token from any location. Mole Man has three other threat cards besides those three thugs. Uh, this is one of them, Underground Tunnels. If Mole Man is in this or adjacent location, he cannot take more than one damage per hero turn. And then he has another threat call called Molids. Uh, that's his little minions, as you saw here on the cover. And it's a BAM attack. Fill the rightmost empty civilian or thug slot on this location with a crisis token. So that's uh, another way that crisis tokens will fill up all those slots on the top. And he has a duplicate of that threat card here as well. So we got also a dex for uh, Red Hulk and Cyborg Spider-Man. And let's take a look at Cyborg Spider-Man first. He does have a starting hand. His uh, first card that he has is Spider-Sense. As long as this card is face up in the storyline once per villain turn, if a villain ends their movement in your location, you may immediately move to an adjacent location. And I'm sure he's gonna have specialized cards as well. So you can take a look at some of the artwork associated with his deck here. And of course he has a double wild, which you could remove to play a uh, equipment card. All right, so he has a cyborg arm. It looks like he has a couple of these. Double attack, basically. He also has cybernetic structure. Looks like he has a, two of those. And this says, in order the first damage you would take next villain turn, so that's pretty helpful. And the last one here is Sonic Cannon. So it looks like you got a wild action or recharge your Sonic Cannon equipment at the end of your turn. That's assuming that you use the equipment card. I think we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna keep it as a plain old Spider-Man variant here. All right, so that is Cyborg Spider-Man's deck. His miniature, by the way, I don't, no, if you remember, he is posted up on his arm like this. It's a really cool looking sculpt. All right, so the Hulk miniature, yeah, basically looks the same or similar to the standard Green Hulk sculpt. But regardless, let's uh, take a look at his deck here. And he does not have a starting hand. 
take a look at his cards here and the associate artwork. And looks like, okay, so here we go. We got two red rage, deal one damage to everything in your location, discard all civilian tokens there. We got absorbing energy, two of these, and it states each other hero in your and both adjacent locations must discard one card with a special effect from their hand, if they have any. Gain one wild token for each card they, they discard this way. Uh, so I guess you have to do a negative to gain a positive. We'll see how that works out during game play. Now, I'm not going to show you uh, Mole Man's uh, deck here. We'll reveal it during gameplay with my daughter. It'll be uh, more of a surprise for me to engage me in gameplay and uh, keep you engaged watching this video. So let's take a closer look at uh, Mole Man's villain card. He does have a starting health of four uh, for two players. Special rules. When adding a crisis token to a location, fill the rightmost empty uh, civilian or thug slot with a crisis token. If there are no empty slots, replace them with a crisis token. If all locations or all slots in the location are filled with crisis tokens and a crisis token should be added there it is added to the next clockwise location there and that also matches the overflow condition if you can't add any civilian or thug to a location you have to add a crisis token so basically you're going to keep on adding crisis tokens to these slots and fill it up and that will be our loss condition so if we have uh four or more locations filled with crisis tokens we are out of luck, and it looks like Mall Man has dug around all those uh, structures and locations and uh, collapsed them all, I suppose. His BAM attack, deal one damage to one hero at Mall Man's location, then add one crisis token there. So you can see how his uh, crisis tokens will be added uh, a lot <laughs> fast. And uh, that's why we have one location here. Uh, that's the shield headquarters where if you do uh, clear this, you are able to remove a crisis token if you do sacrifice a card in your deck. So that's why I included this location in this game uh, play. So that's pretty much all the cards associated with these three characters. By the way, in this story, Spider-Man and Red Hulk are actually swallowed up by a giant worm and brought underground to Mole Man. And uh, of course, his uh, minions are there. It turns out Mole Man is no longer the leader of the underground and uh, someone else is. It's not actually any of these three th uh, thugs or henchmen there. Uh, regardless, this uh, new leader actually does stab uh, uh, Red Hulk in the heart and he is presumed to be dead. But of course, this is Marvel and a comic book. He doesn't stay dead for long. But that's basically uh, what happens in this issue of Avenging Spider-Man number two that came out in 2011. All right, so that is the sip. As you may or may not know, on our channel, we like to present board games, comics, Dungeons and Dragons, and other nerdy things. So hopefully you find this uh, content compelling. If you do so, hit that like and subscribe. It certainly helps us out on the channel and it's free to you. So thanks for listening to that. Let me go grab my daughter and we'll have a fun gameplay session. All right, welcome to our gameplay portion and we're gonna use Avenging Spider-Man issue number two where Hulk, Red Hulk that is, and Spider-Man are both swallowed up by a giant worm and delivered to the Mole Man. So, Mole Man is quite popular nowadays. I think it might be because of the Undertaker and the Incredibles movie. But regardless, uh, we're going to do battle. My daughter will be Spider-Man, or at least the cyborg version of him. And I will be Red Hulk. And the first thing we got to do, of course, is do the master plan. So, Mole Man does have a starting card to uh, do his evil machinations. And it is... Let's see. Attack the surface, my monsters. Each henchman activates their BAM. So right off the beginning. So the BAM of this guy is deal one damage to one hero in this location or adjacent location. So we're safe. And we're same thing there. We're safe. However, this guy here, one hero anywhere takes one damage and turns their early space cards uh, in the storyline face down if possible. 
All right, so someone has to take damage. I guess I'll take damage okay. since I'm the Hulk. Okay, so let's get three starting cards to start off with. I am gonna have to discard one of them. Oh boy, maybe I'm gonna discard my um, star. Okay, I'll put okay. that at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and uh, it's our turn. Yeah. So why don't we have you go first because you have a okay. special starting hand to uh, go with, right? It's yeah. gonna be this card there. I'll read it to everyone. In, you're supposed to draw a card, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So we're gonna put this to start off our story. Spider Sense. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, uh, once per villain turn, if a villain ends their movement in your location, he may immediately move to adjacent location. So you can zip away, okay? Okay. So we'll just put that there. All right, it's my turn to go. I'm gonna draw a card. Do I have to put that on? What, do we have to? Do I have to put that on? Mm, you don't have to, but it's probably better to have it there. Mm -hmm. All right? So I do have a special card here, Absorbing Energy, but uh, I don't think I'm going to use that right now. So let's see, what do we threat do we have here? If Mole Man is in this or this location, he cannot take more than one damage. So we probably want to get rid of this threat, but also want to get rid of this henchman for sure. So let me, let me play a double wild. Do you think that'll help you out? I already have a double wild. Well, I'm going to play double wild. I sort of want to push this guy out, but it's five health. Okay, well, I'm going to put this double wild to help us out first, okay? Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go here, all right, and punch this bad once. Daddy, right? Daddy, yes. the, his henchmen are stronger than him. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, sometimes it's good to be the evil leader. They have the henchmen take all the punches. All right, it's your turn. Okay, draw a card. Yep, draw a card. Should, what should I do? Well, I already attacked this guy. I sort of want to get rid of one of these henchmen, at least. So you could come here and do battle with him as well. Do I have equipment? Uh, no. You could have equipment of a sonic cannon, but then you have to get rid of your double double wild card. Yes, but you could get a wild token instead. Hmm. What do you think? I'm gonna use. Should I? I'm gonna just try to get rid of this one. Okay. Go ahead. You could just do a star. Oh, you're going to use a double wild card? Okay. I can use your three yeah. to get rid of this. Okay, instantly. Great. And you have one more wild action. And I'm action. going to save this person. Okay. Fantastic. All right, now... And then I end my turn here. And should I plus... Oh, that's a good plan. Should I? Um, so, he, so let's see. This is Stave Trip. Until the next villain turn, Mole Man ignores one damage. Um, but that's okay. He ignores damage, which we're not going to attack him. But he would move too. He would go here and do a bam attack. A bam attack here. Fill the right most token with crystals. Like, I guess this is okay. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to put thugs in all those adjacent locations uh, next to us. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that first. Okay, why don't you put one where he is and one adjacent here? Oh, there. What was the token for that guy? It was missing, huh? I forgot to fill this. Um, Over here. Yeah, I forgot to you fill that. You have to go in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's his turn. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So we forgot to fill up these locations, right? Uh huh. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We and then a thug goes there. So this is actually gonna overflow soon, okay? What about here? Yes, yeah, so we forgot to set up the top here. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then an extra thug goes here. All right. Okay. Now, sorry for that uh, gaff there. Okay. So, you want to use this one? So he would move two, and he's gonna put two civilians there and one civilian here. So that would definitely overflow. Do you want to use this one or put it at the bottom? You you said it was okay. So well, I changed my mind because it would overflow there. We still see. So we'll see. Okay, we'll see what happens. This could be even worse. What happens here? He moves five, so he's just gonna go over here and do a bam, but right? But there's no. 
Okay, but, uh, oh, so we, let's put the thugs. We're actually safe. So this and, ends up being better, right? A thug there, a thug at the top there. Thank you. And a thug here. So no overflow yet. And then he does a um, attack, but there's no bound. Oh, there is a bound here, right? So there's no one there. Um, I think when we do bam, we have to activate everyone's bam. Right, Emma? Mm -hmm. So I think I, someone has to take a damage. Can you take a hit then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do I have to? Yes, and actually, since I'm adjacent to him, um, to this guy, so you put it at the bottom of your deck, Deal one damage to one hero and two damage to one hero adjacent location. So I get knocked out. Two damage, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that mm -hmm. means I get knocked out. That's okay. And the superhero will come back, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's my right. Okay, so I pop back up, right? It's my turn. Mm -hmm. I draw three cards. Mm -hmm. right, so I do have some attacks here. Look. So I'm trying to get rid of this thug here, all right? So let me put this here, bam, bam. All right, so that would do two more hits and your wild action, I'm gonna do two more hits, yeah. okay? So he is knocked when, out. When this card is defeated. You may discard a crisis token from any location, but no crisis token, all right? When We're gonna do that. Yep. And I end my turn here. I can also uh, get rid of crisis tokens. But no crisis tokens yet. There soon will be. There's some sites that look up like they're overflowing, right? Okay, it's your turn, Missy. Actually, before we play this card, you know, we did the BAM on these guys, but we didn't do the BAM here, right? <laughs> Fill the top left of this for the crisis location. So that's okay because I got rid of that threat and got rid of crisis token here. But here, you know, fill the up of the crisis token, but you can't, and you would replace it here with the crisis token, okay? Now I could discard a card to get rid of a crisis token. And I think I'm gonna do that actually, okay? How about that, okay? I'm gonna discard one just so I could get rid of this one, okay? That is my choice here, all right? Uh, my turn? Yes. Okay, okay I play that card. Now you're gonna play this card. See, look, wild? Yep. Wild and I can move. Yep. Move. Move. Okay. I move one, right? Yes. And punch out the thugs, maybe, or? Two, and I can punch two. Wait, how come you can move twice? Because of this, this, and this. Oh, you're wild, wild, okay. So you're gonna move there and punch out those yeah. thugs, okay. Good job. And then it is my turn. Uh -huh. I'm gonna draw a card. I gotta move and a punch. Hmm. I should get rid of some thugs too. And I could use your move. What am I gonna do, Missy? I'm gonna use this move and a punch. Or, well, I, I gotta draw a card, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta draw a card. And, no, I don't wanna use absorbing energy yet. All right, I really want to get rid of some of these their henchmen. So I'm going to do this punch punch again. So I am going to move here, but I have a feeling I need to uh, get rid of some of these thugs. Okay, how about this? I'm going to punch one thug here, move here, and punch another thug here. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. 
So that is my play. And then it's gonna be the villain's turn. And he's gonna move one to do a bam. All right. So he's gonna rotate over here. He's gonna do a bam. So this top empty slot will fill with a crisis token. Okay. And then same thing will happen here. This will be full of a crisis token. Um, deal one damage to me here. So I actually get less damage because I'm actually on the loop button. I'm gonna get rid of this absorbing energy card. And then Emma, you're gonna get a, oh, you get two damage. Did I, did I knock that? That's okay. You put your cards uh, underneath here, right? Yeah. Just won't have access to those cards you drew right away. And then, uh, oh, don't forget, if he knocks us out, what happens? Let's see here. Mm, it doesn't say. All right, so if he knocks us out, there's no actual other things that he can do. All right, but his spam is deal one location, then add a crisis token to no man's location. All right, so that's what we're gonna do here. He's on this location, okay? I think we made a little bit of a mistake. He's supposed to have to do a crisis token on where he was at too, right? He did bam here somewhere. Wow. Yeah, so we'll just put a crisis token there, okay? All right. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this game is fun, but <laughs> I gotta have a lot of different rules to track, uh, keep track of, especially when we have different characters. Okay, I'm going... Okay, you have access to my double punch. Ew. Ew. Yeah, we want to get rid of that thug. Four punches. Ooh, four punches. Four, nice. Two, three. Yeah, it's five. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And then I can move five. So I'm going to move. Um, I'm, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. Away. Okay. But maybe you stay there, you could punch him again. Just stay there. No? It's your choice. Okay, move away. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to draw a card. And too bad I can't uh, teleport to where you are. But what I'm going to do actually is play this uh, move and punch. So this is what I'm going to do on the left. I'm going to use your move to go here. Mm -hmm. Then use my move to go here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to punch out this guy because you didn't <laughs> finish him out, okay? Yeah, so I'll punch him out. But what happens when he is defeated? First move to start it from any yeah. location. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of one from there, okay? Is that what we have to do? All right, so good job. My turn. And hold on, hold on. You can discard one. We got to take away this threat token and put it here. And, and I'm going to discard a thug from any location. Well, you did do uh, it. How about from okay. here? Or you're already there. Maybe I do it from here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Of a turn. Oh, I'm going to put it right here, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to... Mm-hmm. You have access to a move and a punch. I'm going to do punch, punch. Okay, what's the special ability though? Ignore, Ignore the, first... the first. Okay, yeah. on the next villain turn. Okay. Punch, punch, one, two, and then I can move. Okay. I can move here and get rid of another one. Okay, and your location there, that means, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Any location. All right, all right. Okay, so now it's the villain's turn. Da -da -da. Okay, moves four. One, two, three, four, all the way here. Hello. It does a bam again. So, first of all, damage here and a crisis token here, all right? So, mm -hmm. crisis token goes here. Bam, but there's no one here. And we, we got rid of the other two henchmen, so we're good, right? I, no, there's still this one. Oh, this one, yes, but we're not adjacent. And then. Two civilian, I'm sorry, two thugs here. All right, so that means one here, and then a 
There's an overflow, right? Can we add it? So that means a crisis token and add it. Okay. So we're going to have to put a crisis token here. All right. And then a thug here and a thug up top. All right. I think we did that completely. All right. Why don't you add him to the storyline, please? And it's my turn to go. I'm going to draw a card. I got uh, Red Rage. Hmm. Uh, then what card do you have? A punch. I got a punch. Hmm. I have another punch. I have a move punch and I have a punch star. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any good place to go. If I go here, I could damage it one to everything, so that would get rid of Thug, but rescue civilians, no. Here, I could, we could rescue some civilians. Okay. What do you think it's better to go to? Somewhere. Uh, I will head this way. Okay, I'll just go this way. Yeah, and right. then we can get rid of Yeah, all right. All right, so let me do that. I'll punch this guy, right? We'll get rid of this card. Bore it out. Okay, so this slides over there. Um, discard civilians there, but there's no civilians. No civvies. And uh, that's pretty much it. My turn? Yes, your turn. So he's going to go after your attack. Um. I gotta get rid of one more threat card. Some stars, maybe? Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have gone here because I'm adjacent to this guy. Oh, He's gonna knock me yeah. out, I have a feeling. Okay. All right, move and a star. And a move. Mm -hmm. Move, star. Okay. And maybe move yeah, here so yeah, you can see. Oh, do. ooh, good planning, good planning. All right, so you see what it so is? So we keep it. Okay. One, One two, two, three, four. That's here. That's here? No. And it's a bam. Hmm. This. Uh, you want gamble? Put it at the bottom? Sure. Okay. No, 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 I mean no. You want to keep it? It will overflow. Nothing will overflow. No one, nothing will overflow here? Two civilian hairs. Okay, then keep it, right? Okay. Yeah. So you flip it over. Oh, wait. And we know what it's going to do. Okay, yeah. so it's going to move forward. One, two, three, four. Bam. And he does do a crisis token here, right? That's his bam attack. Happy he bams. He does down bam here, and so he does two damage to me, right? So I'm knocked out again. But that's okay. Uh, there's no penalty Three. necessary for being knocked out. Three. And then what else? What else? Any other bam? Fill the rightmost empty slot here where there's a crisis token, right? So this one gets one. Oh, so this one gets one, right? Let's get this. Uh oh. And then now we have to add some civilians. So one civilian to the top here, and two to here. So you're right, no overflow, but we do have more crisis tokens. All right, so that's not too good. You, uh, I can go. You can go there. Well, I'm gonna draw three cards and a fourth card to go. I'm gonna pop up. Okay. All right. Well, I do have a wild absorbing energy. Each other hero in you and your adjacent location must discard one card with a special effect in the hand. If they have any, then gain a wild token. That's not too helpful. Do you have any special cards, Eva, in your hand, by the way? Like ones with text? Yes. I have. I have to save one where you ignore the first damage. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, worth it to get a wild token that way. I do want to get rid of some of these uh, threat cards, though. I don't have any good stars except one star here. All right, let me try it this way. I'm going to play this one with a star here, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to use two stars to put at the bottom here. Okay. And then I have an ability to move and 
I think I actually might want to move here so I can use the end of locate and get away from his bam attack and discard a thug. So I'm going to discard a thug um, over here. All right. Okay. So that is the end of my turn. Your turn, Missy. Okay. You draw a card. Play a card. What do you think? <laughs> okay, you got a star. Move. Yep. A star, star. Someone is now vulnerable. Okay, great. You may swap. You may swap. Okay. And. Uh, where where did this card go? I have no idea. Wait, wait. Okay, here, right? Wait. Oh, wait, where did this card go? Yeah. Just put it here. What happened? Something what? happened. I, I, oh, where wow. did that card come it's from? It's just I can swap one from. So, I'm going to swap this with the two things. Two wilds. Wait, wait, wait. This is the one you just played, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to swap. Okay. And then I'll have the two wilds. Okay, that was the end of your turn. And though. now it is Hod's turn. Okay. But what did you do? You got rid of this card, right? And I was here. Yeah. I used, I used I did this move. I did two stars to get rid of this. And then I ended okay. my turn. And then I saw one card. Okay, alright. And you. now it is his turn. Alright. So and I was thinking. Like, so Nine he's going to move five, one, okay? Two, three, four. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, that's okay. Move him over there then. Bam. He does one damage to me. I'm going to get rid of this card. You put a crisis token on the top slot there, please. Okay. All right. And then we put a crisis token on this top slot there. Okay. And then... I think that's it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have to see overflow check. What about here? Alright, so this definitely overflows, right? Uh -huh. So this is now full of crisis tokens. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other top side is overflow now. This one. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not overflow, it's a civilian now. Alright, so this state location is still safe. Okay, I think that is all correct. Mm -hmm. Alright, my turn to go. I'm gonna draw a card. Alright. So you can get damaged now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I am. It's only one damage, but I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play this one Red Rage. Does one damage to everything there, and then it discard all the civilians there. Okay, so I'm gonna do one damage to Mole Man. Okay, he's knocked down to three health, and then I will get rid of all these civilians here. Okay, so they're all discarded there, and then I can go or stay there to get one civilian, or I could. You know, I could end my location here, swap one card for one of my in the storyline, right? I think that's going to be helpful. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap this move for the double wild. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, your turn. I want to draw your, this is your deck here. Your draw deck, that is. You have access to my move. Thought for sure we're going to lose with crisis tokens. It always seems like impossible to yeah. do. But, oh, that looks great. I think you could punch him out, maybe. Oh. One. One. Okay, two more hits to him. Right? you're going to do it. Probably. I hope so, but we'll see. Let's see where he's probably going to move with his next um, villain card. Oh, look. It does say something special here, Emma. Mm -hmm. It is, regroup my oh. monsters. Bring back one random cleared henchman threat. Into play and then it's without a threat. So he comes back. Okay, but before we do that, he has to move three. One, two, three. So he's gonna end up at Shield Headquarters. 
okay? No bam attack, but I have to bring back one um, of these henchmen, so we'll just pick this one here. And into play in the next clockwise location without a threat if possible. So next clockwise location without a threat, it's right where you are, Eva. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's gonna go there. He doesn't attack, but he is there. Also, we have to put two thugs at this location. And then there is an overflow condition here, so this now becomes a crisis. All full of crisis tokens, and this is already full of crisis tokens. Let's see, if I can't put more, then go to the next clockwise location. So yeah, since this can't uh, be full, I have to put this crisis token to the next one clockwise. So that would be here, okay? All right. Okay, so that is done. But I gotta draw a card. And I have my double wild array, right? So that's definitely what I'm gonna play. I think we're gonna knock him out. Where is he? So he needs one more hit, right? Uh -huh. So I could use two of the wilds to move here. And that's your two wilds. And I got two more wilds. How about I just double punch him, even though he needs one punch, right? Mm -hmm. Wanna want see him punch him out? Look at this, Emma. Yeah. He's gonna punch out Mole Man. <laughs> He's knocked out. We did it! <laughs> All right, high five, Missy. Great job. All right, so we have defeated Mole Man using Red Hulk and Cyber Spider Man. This has been a story from Avenging Spider Man issue number two that came out in 2011. I had a blast playing this. It's uh, always cool to sort of um, relive these comic book stories uh, using Marvel United. So, what do you think about these uh, new characters? Mm, Mole like Man, that. Red Hulk, Cyborg. Like which, which one do you like? And what do you like about them? I like the Spider-Man. Because? Because he has, he has a bunch of different powers. <laughs> okay, cool. I thought it was very interesting to fight against this Mole Man with all these crisis tokens. Um, I bet we probably made other gameplay errors, but I think we caught most of them. That was a challenge. So Moment is now defeated. We knocked him back underground. Okay, so that wraps it up for us tonight. I hope you found this entertaining as we mixed uh, comic books with board games. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night. Keep on adventuring out there.